It amazes me that people have pre-existing notions that defy the evidence of reality, but they, that they hold on to them so dearly. And one of them is the notion of creationism, or in fact, look, Senator Marco Rubio, who's presumably a reasonably intelligent man, and maybe even educated, was asked, what's the age of the earth? And ultimately, either because he, he actually believed it or he, or he was trying to appeal to some constituency, had to argue that it's a big mystery, that somehow we should teach kids both ideas that the earth is 6,000 years old and that it's 4.55 billion years old, which is what it is. If you think about that, somehow saying that, well, anything goes, we, you know, we shouldn't offend religious beliefs by requiring kids to know, rea to understand reality. That's child abuse. And if you think about it, teaching kids that the, or allowing the, the notion that the, the, that the earth is 6,000 years old to be promulgated in schools is like teaching kids that the distance across the United States is 17 feet. That's how big an error it is. Now you might say, look, a lot of people believe that, so don't we owe it to them to, to allow their views to be present in school? Well, as I've often said, the purpose of education is not to validate ignorance, but to overcome it. 50% of the people in the United States, when we probe them each year with the National Science Foundation, think that the, that the sun goes around the earth, not that the earth goes around the sun. When we ask the question, we, we provide the question, the earth goes around the sun and takes a year to do it, true or false? Almost every year, 50% of the people get that wrong. Now, does that mean in schools we should allow the, 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 the anti-Galilean and Copernican idea that the sun goes around the earth to be taught? Absolutely not. If in fact, the very fact that people don't know that and the very fact that it, enough people are willing to somehow believe the earth is 6,000 years old means we have to do a better job of teaching physics and biology, not a worse job. The last thing we want to do is water down the teaching of biology because some people don't recognize that evolution happened. Evolution is the basis of modern biology, and in fact, if, if a lot of people don't believe it, it only means we have to do a better job teaching it. So once again, I repeat, the purpose of education is not to validate ignorance, but to overcome it and to overcome a situation where a United States Senator can speak such manifest nonsense with impunity is vitally important to the healthy future of our society. Technology and biotechnology will be the basis of our economic future. And if we allow nonsense to be promulgated in the schools, we do a disservice to our students, a disservice to our children, and we're guaranteeing that they will fall behind in a competitive world that depends upon a skilled workforce able to understand and manipulate technology and science.